Okay, I'm back. Sorry. I, I'm not really sure how to add him. So we're just going to have this conversation. Um, through, the t through comments. Because I'm not really sure how to do this. Okay. So, welcome everybody. I am sorry for the technical difficulties. I am not so savvy on Facebook. I am much more an IG person. Um, but I just wanted to give you an idea of who I am. So, I am a marketer, a PR consultant. I'm, I trained as a graphic designer. But I'm here to talk to you today about um, being a creative and how you can sort of market yourself online. Um, Kifo, I apologize. I haven't quite figured out how to do the two-part um, thing on Facebook. So we're just going to have to have this conversation in the comments. My apologies. So I just launched uh, an ebook about... Uh, future of creatives. Is anybody here a creative? And a creative is basically anybody who uses their talents. So an artist, musician, um, event planner, baker, anything like that. Is there anybody here who is like that? Show, a hand, show of hands. Anybody? Okay, nobody's, nobody's chiming in. All right, so Kiefer and I have known each other for many years. He is a branding designer, and Kiefer has used his personal brand to help him to get clients um, as well as to join a larger conversation with um, the world. Um, this was like, you know, pre-COVID-19 and everything. Um, so, you know, this is a good conversation to be having now. You know, hi, Tashai. Many of you are probably thinking about doing a side hustle to supplement your income. You know, maybe you're a jewelry designer or maybe you like to create, um, you know, masks or maybe you like to uh, bake, you know, for a living, something like that. So, um, let's just start off basically with what is personal branding. Um, a lot of people don't know. If there's anybody there can, that can guess what personal branding is? Anybody? No? Okay. Basically, the definition is the practice of marketing people and their careers as brands. So, the idea is that everybody is a brand. You know, you're, if, as long as you're doing something, you have a profession, you know, you're a brand. Um, there, you have a voice, a tone of voice in which you speak. Uh, the way that you dress defines, you know, who you are and how you want to be represented in the market. Um, what you post online, for example, the kind of content that you share. I know a lot of people don't really care about that stuff, but... Um, you know, more now than ever before because there are more people spending time online um, is a critical part of defining and setting your part in the market. Um, so, you know, that's pretty much it. It is an ongoing process of developing and maintaining a reputation and impression of an individual, individual group or organization. Whereas some self-help practices focus on self-improvement, Personal branding defines success as a form of self-packaging. Exactly, Kifa. Right. So I wrote this book specifically for creatives um, because I feel that although we're very talented at helping other people with their, um, you know, packaging and their their marketing materials, we are often we often neglect our own brand. Um, and sort of hide in the shadows. Um, and I think it's also important for us to recognize that, especially now in this, these times, your brand 
is what's going to help you to survive. Um, so Kifa has read the book. Kifa and I, as I said, have been friends for many years. And so he knows, you know, we've had discussions and a lot of what's in the book he does already innately. So Kifa, you want to just tell them like what your thoughts are, were on the book? I know you haven't read all of it, but just like the beginning of it. I'm sorry to put you on the spot. Kifa? <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. So in the book, it talks about defining who you are. So you need to define, you know, what your, who you are, who you what you represent and a lot of this comes from like asking people so you might want to ask your friends your family um i've done it before i've asked people like what are the three words that you would use to describe me my personality um i won't tell you what they say but for the most part it has helped me to kind of define who i am and how to place myself in the market and it doesn't have to all be serious. It doesn't have to all be like, you know, boring, right? You can just a matter of figuring out how you're going to position yourself in the market. So once you've defined that, once you've defined your mission statement, who you are and who you want to be in the market, then you can start building the narrative, right? And you can also define like who you're targeting. Who are these people that you want to reach to? Say, for example, you're an event planner, right? The book is about defining yourself, who you are in the market, right? So, um, so, yeah, sorry about that. So, um, it's very clear, you know, what you need to do, right? So, basically, once you've established that, you need to like start building the narrative, right? And part of what we do, right, Kifa, is we help we help people, we help creatives, we help personal brands, we help people we help people to basically bring out the best of themselves. So everything from photographs to logos um, to brand colors, you know, defining your color family and what you, you know, part of defining your color family is based on your personality and sort of how you want to present yourself to the world. Um, so these are some of the things that a lot of people don't even realize. Um, and colors have obviously meaning, right, people and value. So in the book, it talks about that. It, it, it talks about how important, um, you know, having the Facebook uh, your brand kit, um, you know, your to be where you you think your potential customers are, and that can be say you're targeting younger people. Say you know, say you've created like this really cool, um, you know, clothing line or something like that, and you really want it to. Uh, reach a younger audience, then maybe you wouldn't be on LinkedIn, maybe you would be more on like Instagram, um, even Twitter, all that sort of thing. So those are the kinds of things that you need to think about. And then as a, as a creative, Kifa, um, what are some of the things that you have done to sort of build your brand and sort of build yourself in the market and defining yourself in the market and figuring out how to be different from everybody else. Okay, so Kiefer is talking about color theory, which is really good. Um, and so in order for you to really create um, a personal branding kit, you also need to think about who you're targeting and you need to think about 
you know, where you are. Although, you know, I don't know. For me personally, like, I'm starting to use more pinks and oranges in my color palette. And I, and I mean, I never considered myself to be like a girly girl or whatever. Um, I've always thought of myself to be very sort of, um, you know, black, very black, dark, that sort of thing. But I've started to integrate more color into my palette. Um, I think it's just as a way to really like um, brighten it and freshen it up a bit. But I find that it's definitely more useful. And even though I'm not young, um, I am. I consider myself to be useful. So yeah, but yes. So so along Kifa's journey, he he found his passion, and um, part of finding his passion had to do with him liking to dance. So he was a part of this dance troupe, and so he used to share a lot of his um, dance videos and stuff on his personal page. And so as a result of that, over the years, he kind of developed um, a, a, a following, and he was able to sort of engage and um, sort of create uh, a following based on that and then he leverages it right Kifa <laughs> so he leveraged it and he was able to use it to gain customers build relationships with people and he wasn't afraid to reach out to thought leaders and um, ask them questions uh, build relationships with them and ultimately get customers so in the book it talks about an actual script that you can use when dealing with with um with potential customers how you can address them online part of the problem that i always get is i find that people have a tendency of just sending me a video or they'll just send a you know a a picture or something and they don't really realize that it's about building relationships and so you need to like take the time to say hello how are you introduce yourself I mean it's, it's basically like you know having a conversation in public you wouldn't go out in public and just hand somebody a flyer you'd actually have a conversation with them so Kiva you want to talk a little bit about your journey and how you were able to position yourself online in order to get customers? And if anybody has any questions, please Drop the question, tell us where you're from, what kind of thing you're passionate about, if it's, you know, you're a baker, event planner, publicist, artist, fashion designer, you know, um, crafts person, please share and we can um, help you to market yourself online. I think there's a delay. Right, so Kifa has been very, very good at creating art. So other than being a branding designer, and a branding designer is somebody that really like creates logos and visual identities. So everything from, you know, how your, how your um, business card looks to your you know, your website, visuals, not necessarily um, creating a website, but visuals, he can create it for you. But then on, on the other hand, he also uses, he's also like, um, it's computer art. Um, so he uses computer art. He does computer art. So he creates um, using, you know, Adobe. 
he okay hi Johnny okay so we're talking about personal branding it's really for the creatives of the future and so um, personal branding is basically you know learning how to share your story online um, I actually have an ebook where I talk about how to define your your personal brand and also how to market yourself online it's available for sale hi Janelle <laughs> how are you yes so Kifa has been able to really create um, an image for himself online by using his art and his art tells a story every piece is special and it's usually of a, like another world you know he creates these like very interesting um, pieces and he actually has a book that he has he, he has on Amazon that's for sale. So you just can look him up on Amazon and you can see his book. So so Johnny, um, are you a hairstylist? What what do you do in your salon? I'd love to know. Okay. Okay, so for me what I do is I have a blog and I write about marketing. Okay, cool. And so what Okay, so Kifa, what Kifa did is he started his he did his designs and then people started reaching out to him to create album covers which is really cool and then he started to do logos and then just build from there so um johnny what kind of do you have do you are you like do you have nails and facials and stuff like that and how do you market yourself online I think there's like a delay in um in the live. And then my neighbor's dog is barking. Okay, well we can definitely help you with that. As I said, I have a personal branding book where i can help you to define your personal brand because a lot of a part of winning you now in this covid 19 world is also using your personality and your pers you as a person um to help to promote your business and to build relationships community management is crucial right now people um need to feel connected and so the more connected you are to your customers awesome awesome but the more connected you are with your customers is the more likely you're going to win a lot of people do not understand that client client retention client acquisition is one part but also client retention is a crucial part right now um i do have some packages available for social media and um you know we could can talk about that afterwards um to send me a, a a request on or a message a personal message on um on my personal page my name is casey gardner k-e-s-i gardner okay so keepers talking about your strengths right right so a lot of a, a lot of people are afraid of sharing their personality online whether that be because they um, don't want people to know their private business or they're shy or whatever, um, there are several ways that you can share your personality without telling your personal business. 
Okay. Yeah, that is hard when you, and that's why it's good to have somebody to support you. Um, a lot of companies now need marketing support more than ever. Somebody that's going to help them to um, do that community management. It's going to write those articles for you um, and stuff like that. That's very important, um, particularly now that the salons are not open. Um, I think it's I, I I don't know. For the most part, I think they're closed, but I think now they have the they're open like by appointment only. Um, a lot of people don't have the disposable income to necessarily go to the salon, you know, as often as they'd like. And there are several ways that you can, you know, ultimately um, still be there uh, on top of mind with your with your your clients. Um, a lot of people, a lot of small businesses fare, fail to have those emails, and those emails are crucial at specifically at this time. Yes. Your personality is crucial right now, as Kifa said. Um, building those relationships, and it's it's just really about being nice, it's being a nice person, and saying hi, and checking in. And I know that that's time consuming, um, particularly now when you're spending a lot of time doing your operations. But that's why it's good to have somebody to do it for you, and it you know it really can just be an email checking in we haven't seen you in a couple of weeks um you know it's time for that relaxer again or you know those time for those acrylics to come off that sort of thing and that's a great way to sort of um you know keep top of mind during this time a lot of salon to a lot of like i've seen um nail brands as well nail polish brands what they're doing is now showing people how they can do their nails at home so that might be something else that you can also do um, is try to like, you know, show people how to do a, a spa at home, you know, a home facial, that sort of thing. Any other questions? Any other? Anybody else? I promise next week is going to be much more engaging. We're gonna figure out this two live, uh, two person live thing. <laughs> so, um, So next week we're going to talk about um, why you need a website. I'm going to bring on Sutanya Mahorg, who is a I have lots of inventory and can't get going on online relationships. I bring you to have personal service, the experience in hair, and make my own products. Oh, that's very nice. Yeah, well, we can talk about how we can offer you some marketing support. So you can send me a message and we can put some, um, oh, there's a delay. Okay. We can put some, um, some packages together for you. Hi Xavier, how are you? <laughs> so I'm gonna wrap I'm gonna wrap because there seems to be a delay. So what we're gonna probably have to do next week is um, get the questions in before and then um, since there's no there are no dual lives anymore, um, based on what somebody just told me then um you know we might be able to do um 
Johnny, you can message me on um, Facebook. My name is Casey Gardner, K-E-S-I Gardner. We can talk about it after. So, um, yeah, so next week we'll talk about why you need a website. And um, it's crucial right now at this time that everybody needs a web, should have a website. Um, your personal brand is more important than ever before. And it doesn't matter who you are, if you are a, a baker or an event planner, you really should have a website so that people can find you, people can find information about you, um, and they can learn about you because a lot of what happens, unless you're a celebrity, um, people don't really know. Um, and because you're not able to have that face-to-face -face time anymore, um, being having an online presence is so crucial because you know people want to work with who they know and if they don't know anything about you because you're not online then they're less likely to work with you um, and so the more information that there is about you online is the better you are so I'm gonna wrap now because there is a delay so I hope you enjoyed and you can follow me on all platforms at Casey Gardner, K-E-S-I Gardner. Take care. Bye.